Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another great episode at The Noble Way. We are here in Epcot enjoying the festival of the holidays. We love it is it. sort of the replacement for the food and wine festival. It yeah. just kind of rolls almost straight over into the holiday season. And we are excited. We're going to try out some really great foods. We are going to hit the American Adventure Pavilion. They've got so many things. I mean, we can just do a whole episode on the American Adventure Pavilion by itself, uh, but we'll probably do with some other ones as well. Yeah. But I'm excited. There's a lot of great food, a lot of great activities and entertainment. There's Santa Claus over here we're going to try and catch a glimpse of. Um, so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun, a great holiday edition, Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. We are here at the America Pavilion in line for the American food items and they have this amazing Christmas tree here. I've seen it during the nighttime, but I haven't actually got to see it during the daytime. It's got all these poinsettias on it. It's really pretty. It's right over here by Santa Claus. And actually Santa has his own tree back there. You can kind of see in the background. Santa's out. You can see Santa out there. He's got the Christmas tree. Lots of cool holiday decorations here in the American Pavilion. We are at the American Pavilion, American Adventure Pavilion, uh, holiday food festival. There are so many good things at this pavilion that like we could do an entire episode just of the American Adventure Pavilion. Like, so we got three things here I'm so excited about. Uh, the first one we have is the holiday pot pie. Check this thing out. It looks so good. I mean, it's got, it's like in a little like cup. I thought it was just going to be, because actually the picture of it shows like a bunch of veggies and stuff and then like a puff pastry laying on top of it. So I was like, mm, that's not really a pot pie because it's not a pot. But like, this is an actual pot pie. It's in like a little tin thing. Well, it's plastic, but it's like, it's a pot pie. So I'm excited because I thought it was going to be more busted than this, but it looks awesome. So holiday pot pie. Uh, take a listen to what's in this thing. Uh, we've got jackfruit. We don't know what that I don't know. is. I don't know if I've ever had jackfruit. I was like, fruit? I, I don't know. Maybe, I guess it's not, maybe it's not really a fruit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but it sounds weird, like fruit in a savory dish. Mushrooms, uh, carrots, peas, onions, and puff pastry. So, I don't know. Let's see if it's any good. And this holiday pot pie was only $5.50. Was it really? So like $12 for five ravioli. Yeah. Or, what's up? <laughs> we love that. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is only $5.50. Uh, $5.50 uh, versus $12 for five ravioli, ravioli. But maybe the ravioli are a lot better. Let's try it. The stuff in the cup, just so you know, is the soup stuff is hot. Oh, and it's really like watery. Yeah, it's very hot. You know what I mean? It's good, but it's watery. It's very drippy. See that? It's not like yeah. it's not like a thick, hearty stew. It's like a chicken noodle soup yeah, almost. Yeah, it's very watery. I'm I like the flavor. It. Was it really hot? Yeah, but it's all right. It's okay. It's not that great. I it's, mean, it's for not, five not, fifty. For five dollars and fifty cents, I think it's fine. But the the wateriness immediately when I when I sunk into the pot pie, I knew it was going to be kind of just okay. Yeah, it's not like a pot pie consistency. It needs at to be all. much thicker. Yeah. They need some thickening agent or something in there. And then honestly, the the soup stew stuff doesn't have that much flavor. It's just watery. It's, it just tastes really like, yeah, not very flavorful. I'm, I'm trying to. This is a mushroom. I was trying to find the jackfruit, but I don't, know. I don't know if there's some sort of meat in here. No. No, that's mushroom. No, it looks just totally veggie. There's no meat. It didn't say meat, and I was wondering if there's any turkey or beef or anything. Yeah. There's not. No chicken. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, it's it's not that great. No. I wouldn't recommend it. We were gonna try the we were gonna try the uh, the turkey. They have like a um, turkey and dressing. Like a full Thanksgiving meal almost. Well, I guess it could be um, Christmas meal too. I think a lot of people eat eat Christmas meals like turkey and all the yeah. stuffing and everything. But they had a slow roasted turkey there that looked really good. It was like Thanksgiving in a in a box kind of thing. But we decided to try this first, and uh, I wish we hadn't because I don't think it's that great. Yeah, we'll try the um, I mean, turkey it's just, and dressing. Next it's time. just vegetables in like a really runny, watery, yeah. 
broth, and the, it just doesn't have that much flavor. It's okay. This is tastes bad. It's I'm just, not gonna. We're not gonna eat the rest of this. There's no. There's nothing to it. No. You know. I mean, the ravioli. We ate all the ravioli. So, complain as you will about the price of the twelve dollar ravioli. We ate it all. This we paid five fifty yeah. for. We're not even gonna eat it. I don't think it's that good. Even even if I added salt to this, it wouldn't have no. enough like savory to flavor to it that I would yeah. give it a rip. So pass on that one. Okay. That that I was a pass. My pork. It was it was too not good. Okay, so we also got this really interesting sounding. Um, she got this because she wanted to give it a try. Here. It kind of sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, it's Playa Linda brewing company uh, peppermint chocolate stout from so like Titusville Florida chocolate beer maybe? yeah so like a chocolate Which I don't really like beer at all um, so this is kind of chocolate beer maybe yeah like a chocolate but we peppermint thought we'd try chocolate it just beer because it just sounded strange so this smells like chocolate it just smells like beer mm. it? and I don't like beer I don't at all it's it. a, this is the six ounce by like the way this is the six ounce version ounce, right? was it 12 I think no. it's like nine. I thought it was twelve. I don't know. They have a bigger version sure. of this. This is the six ounce, and it's five dollars. It's like chocolate beer. Mm. It's chocolate mm. beer. It's chocolate beer. Anything? I don't like it. I hate. Gosh, I hate beer. It's wow, bad. I do not like beer. It's chocolate beer. I do like, not like it. I'm not. I can't. I can't like? even take another sip of that. It's so raunchy. If you like beer, it tastes like beer. With a little hint of chocolate. I don't I taste the peppermint, though. Did you get peppermint? I don't taste peppermint at all, but I taste a lot of chocolate. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. And it's a pass for me. So, I don't... We're just going to set... I'm going to set that over there. That's not, that's not good. I don't like beer. It, but I guess if it's like... If you like a dark stout beer with a little bit of chocolatey flavor, I don't taste the peppermint at all. Five bucks. It's not bad. But um, it's a no-go for me. And to top things off, because we had to have some sort of desserty item... We got this amazing looking uh, pumpkin gingerbread cheesecake. Oh man, it looks good. Here, can we get, can we get like a better lighting angle? Like I always feel like there's some weird sunlight happening. Uh, it's not working. Um, pumpkin gingerbread cheesecake. And it says it has a cranberry whipped cream on top of it. So this whipped cream must be cranberry. Um, and candied pumpkin seeds. I like pumpkin seeds. I'm a fan of pumpkin seeds. So let's let's give it a let's give it a try here. I'm just gonna try the whipped cream there. I'm not getting really any of the cranberry coming through in the whipped cream. No. All right, here we go. The full cheesecake bite with a little bit of the cranberry whipped cream and some of the uh, candied pumpkin seeds. It's good. I like it a lot, actually. Now, what was that other cheesecake that we had? Did we have another pumpkin cheesecake recently? Somewhere? This is four dollars and fifty cents, by the way. Uh, the point. Hmm. This might be better. Um, you like the other one better? I like the crust. The crust was better at the other one for sure. I don't know what the crust of this is. I don't taste the crust. There's no crispiness to the crust at all on this. There's no crust. It's like a, it's like a little piece of bread or something is the crust and it's flavorless. Cheesecake itself is good though. It's a decent pumpkin cheesecake. Um, to sort of heavy. top off the meal, four dollars and fifty cents. It's not bad. Yeah. So, and there I you think have it's it. good for the price. Holiday pot pie pass. Peppermint chocolate stout pass. Unless cheesecake. You like beer. Pumpkin cheesecake. Probably also a pass. I think all three of these things are kind of a pass for me. We'll but try the, the cheesecake um, is probably the best of the three, and if I was going to eat something again, I would do the pumpkin cheesecake. We'll try the slow roasted turkey with stuffing um, yeah. thing next time, I feel like. We yeah, come around. and when we do the holiday cookie stroll, they do have a cookie here for the holiday yeah. cookie stroll that we'll try as well. So, all right, let's keep moving. We have a few additional holiday market kiosks here over in the American Pavilion. You can get some of the new Olaf Festival of the Holidays merchandise right here. There's some cute stuff here. A lot of Olaf, a lot of Frozen. Look who we have hanging out here. We've got Aurora.
Look at over here by the UK Pavilion. We've got a cute little teacup and teapot pouring tea, I'm assuming, into these little teacups here with the uh, poinsettias. That's cute. Check it out. Here's one of the Olaf's for the Olaf's expedition there where you're trying to find them all. Right over here in UK in front of Father Christmas. So, Hey Olaf. Hey Olaf. Hanging out back here in the UK pavilion. There's this little like cubby hole back here in the corner. Which I don't think a lot of people know is here. It's pretty cool. It's like a quiet little area where you can just kind of hang out. There's little tables here you can grab some food. It's actually back here where Father Christmas is going to make an appearance, what we're waiting for. So, kind of neat. Look who we have coming our way here. We've got Alice. We've got Alice in Wonderland making a transition from her normal spot there. Hey, Alice. How's it going? We're here waiting for Father Christmas. I want to check a look. I think Father Christmas is about to head over here. And I am the first person standing here in line waiting. Oh, I see he's making an appearance. Look, here he comes. Check it out. Here he comes. 46. Father Christmas. 47. Hello there. 48. Hello. 49. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. All right, we are at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen, which is basically the Canada Pavilion. It's sort of the replacement for the Canada Pavilion in the Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. And check this thing out that we got. This is the Maple Bouche de Noel. Like, huh? Check that out. It looks kind of like a, like a little, like, you see it? Like a little log cabin almost? Is that what that's supposed to be? Like, there's like a little, like... I don't know, it looks like, yeah, maybe it's like a Yule log, but it looks like a, it looks like a log cabin to me with like a little snow on top and there's like a little like smokestack chimney of marshmallows. I don't know. Who knows what it's supposed to be, but anyway. Yeah, probably just so like a Yule log, but it looks really good. Maple Bouche de Noel. I always want to say Boucher from like Waterboy, but I don't know. Um, and it has a maple mousse uh, and cranberry, which you can see swirled in a gingerbread, sh gingerbread chiffon cake. I don't know, it looks popping. And it was only four dollars and seventy five cents. So it's really cute for how like it's only four seventy five and it's like very Christmassy, like very holiday like four seventy five. Alright, let's give it a rip. Here. Dig in. Try and get a little bit of everything here. It's like the chocolate, yeah. I think I got a little bit of everything. I got the gingerbread right away. 
and then it faded and got overwhelmed by the, um, the cranberry cranberry jelly but it doesn't really taste like cranberry though no i don't really like the flavor of it at all what is it it's not i don't know <laughs> i don't like it i kind of like it do you like it yeah i mean it is weird it, it kind of reminds me of like uh i think it's because of the chocolate it kind of tastes like a um like the little like cream filled chocolate covered candies like Esther Price or Whitman's or whatever sampler like the um, the chocolate cream filled with like raspberry the yeah. raspberry cream filled Esther Price chocolate is what that kind of tastes like which to me which you like right which I love by Not the way it's not if she doesn't really like those fruity cream filled ones that's what it tastes like so I don't know I don't know why it's just cr cranberry it tastes like raspberry almost yeah it does um, but. I like it. It's not my favorite, but if you like like chocolate covered fruit or you know, I feel like you would like it, which isn't my favorite. But he likes that. I like it. Let me let me eat the little hut, little uh, smoke sack. Mm. I'm gonna eat the little mistletoe. Hang it over your head first. Mistletoe. <laughs> not sure I'm getting a lot of maple. Yeah. I taste the chocolate. And the raspberry, even though there's no raspberry, it's like a cranberry, but it tastes raspberry-ish to me. Mate, it tastes like chocolate and raspberry. Yeah. I, I kind of got the first whiff of that gingerbread cake right away, but then I haven't tasted it since, so I think the, um, the cranberry or raspberry has overwhelmed it. Overall, pretty good, though. I like it. <laughs> Overall, I like it. It's a good, it's good like jelly roll kind of thing. Yeah, it's I love these like roll. swirl roll jelly roll things. Yeah. I love them. So to me, this is awesome. I really like it a lot. It tastes different to me than as advertised. It tastes different to me than what it said yeah. it was going to be. It definitely tastes different than I But I like I it. Yeah. I also like those. I like those little um, strawberry shortcake roll things that you can buy in the stores. I love those things. So to me, this is this is pretty good. It's very rich though. I need like an ice water yeah. very <laughs> badly right now. So anyway. Four dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah, very cheap. Deal. It's really good. It's very cute. It's a great Instagram shot. So there you go. At the Yukon Kitchen there, Canada Pavilion. It's pretty solid. Look, this is so cute. It's like a little cookie jar for the festival of the holidays. Cute. And it's twenty-nine ninety-nine. And it says the festival of the holidays on one side, and then it says the holiday cookie stroll on the other side. And yeah. it's like ceramic. It's really cute. $29.99. Yeah. Little cookie jar. Let's so see if we can cute. put it down without busting it. <laughs> it's really cute. All right, here for the festival of the holidays. But we, while we're here, we're going to hit test track. Why not give it a go? Love this ride. I just want to get a quick look of the line for the lightning pass. This whole line here is the lightning pass. Just to give you a look at how long the lightning pass is getting. It's not even that busy right now. Uh, it said a 30 minute wait just a minute ago. It says 60 now, but I don't know if that's accurate. When we went in, it said 30 minute wait. When we came out, it said 60 minute wait. But you saw that lightning pass line back there. I mean, that was a long lightning pass line. but. We were only in line for five minutes, almost like less than five minutes when we did the single rider line again, which again, that's the way to go. I mean, if you want to do the whole experience where you see the whole line queue and create your own car, yeah. you know, you, you it, it, and you want to ride together with friends or whatever, you, you need to wait through the line. But for the rest of you who just want to ride it real fun, five minute wait, single rider line. Uh, so. Oh, Mickey pretzel with cheese. 
Yeah, Alejandro's cheese sauce. Mmm. At the holiday food festival here. I just got cheese on my head. <laughs> and look what look what we got at the holiday food festival here. Look what we got. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. The Mickey pretzel. Not part of the food festival. No, but it's so good. But sometimes you just need the Mickey pretzel with cheese. It's so good. Hold on. Okay. And we've been going around the food festival and like we've been getting like little bits of you know bits and pieces of food and some sweets and stuff. And we're kind of just like on the way out and we're like, I need a Mickey pretzel. Like I need something. And this pretzel, it's been a while since we had it. Time for the Mickey pretzel. I love it. All right. Yum. So good. Mm. Now, I asked the lady, I said, can you get Can you get the Mickey pretzel with no salt? She's like, um, she said, we could probably find one with less salt. I was like, no. I like salt on my pretzel, but for anybody watching at home. Because we've been kind of debating, like, I wonder if you can get it without the salt for people who don't like salt. No. I don't think so. It's, it's, this is what you get. You have to scrape the salt out. I want more salt on mine, but luckily the, 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 the cheese that comes with this so is so salty. salty, you don't need any more salt yeah. on it. But normally I would need more salt on my pretzel. So what do you think of the cheese, the new cheese that they have, the Alejandro's cheese? Do you like the cheese? Do you think it's like too salty? Do you think it's processed that you don't like it? We love it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen our, if you haven't seen our pretzel wars, our, our versus pretzel episode, check it out. I'll put a link to it below. We went through all these different pretzels. The Mickey pretzel came out on top, and the cheese really, we love it. Yeah. There's a lot of good pretzels around the Disney area. This one, mm, it's so good. I love it. So if you don't like the cheese, let us know. Let us know what kind of cheese you do like too. Don't you be like, I hate that cheese. Like, tell us what you like. Like, what kind of cheese do you like? Is there another place that has better cheese that you think is good? I know there used to be an old cheese that used to get with this, but I like, I like this. This, this is my cheese right here. All right, another fantastic day at the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays here in Walt Disney World, Florida. I had such an awesome time. Uh, the food, the 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 stuff at the American Adventure looked amazing. It ended up being a little disappointing. Not as good. The stuff that we chose. Place. There's some other stuff. There's some well, other stuff at the American Pavilion that today. we're going to try that looks really good. Say. We also met a lot of new friends today. Um, so that was awesome. A lot of new people, new faces, got to meet them. Um, again, we're looking really forward to coming back here and doing the Olaf's expedition. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of the other stuff, the holiday cookie stroll, different things. So I'm excited. It's been a great day. I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend, even if you are a veteran of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, the Festival of the Holidays, not to be missed. Lots of storytellers, lots of food, amazing things to see and do. Uh, I highly recommend it. So until tomorrow, we'll have another great episode for you. I promise. Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Subscribe, like, share this channel. Uh, definitely click on that notification so you know we get, you get our new videos every single day. We appreciate you coming and watching our videos. We appreciate your support. Thanks for joining us. Until tomorrow. The noble way. Is the easy way. Bye everyone. Bye bye everybody.